Hey, what's going on? This is Michelle Valbrun here, aka Money Making Minutes, Certified Public Accountant. And today I want to jump on here and give you guys some quick tips on how to deduct business expenses. So no matter where you're at in your career, you may be a first time or first year business owner. You may be in business for multiple years and you, your accountant or for whatever reason hasn't explained and kind of let you know exactly what you can deduct as far as business expenses. So today I want to quickly jump on here and share with you the four IRS requirements in order to do so. So number one, uh, the expense needs to be in connection with your trade or business. So let's say for instance that you have a t-shirt company and with that t-shirt company, you <laughs> create t-shirts, right? You have some really cool designs and you're putting it out there in the market. You're making crazy money. Um, it needs to, the expenses that you incur with that business need to be in connection with your trade or business. So, um, to get more specific, the second requirement to that is it needs to be ordinary. And when the IRS says ordinary, they have two words to explain what ordinary means and it's commonly and accepted. So expenses that are probably commonly accepted in the t-shirt design and, uh, create creating business is, you know, actually getting the t-shirts, creating designs, creating logos. Um, maybe customer relationship software that you're using to get the, the information from the clients. So those kind of things are commonly accepted in the t-shirt, uh, business. Now let's say that you wanted to buy medical supplies for your t-shirt business. Okay. Not to say that it's impossible for you to be able to deduct medical supplies, but that's not common or, uh, you know, not common or acceptable really in the t-shirt business. But if you are able to explain and document why exactly you need medical supplies, and I can't think of a creative reason why right now, why you would need medical supplies in the t-shirt business, but you know, you can, you're, you're not really supposed to deduct those. But again, if you do have a good legitimate business reason, it's a connection with the trader business and, um, you are able to explain why you need it, then you can go ahead and do that. So the, the third requirement really is that it needs to be necessary and necessary means that it's going to be helpful and appropriate for your business. So, um, having, let's say, let's say you're working in a facility and you have an AC unit. Okay. Um, you know, it's not absolutely, um, required to have an AC unit. Um, as part of your business, but it's going to be helpful and appropriate for you because if you're hot, if you're sweating, you know, you can't focus, you can't concentrate on making the amazing, beautiful designs that you're making. So it really, again, needs to be helpful and appropriate for your business in order to be able to deduct, to, to expense that, right? So maybe the utility cost of running the electricity through that, that AC unit is going to, this is going to be something that you can deduct for tax purposes. And last but not least, it can't be lavish or extravagant. And um, again, it, they, the, the IRS doesn't have like a certain dollar threshold or any specific limit, but you really just need to use your judgment on it. So let's say that you're taking a client out for lunch. Let's say you're bringing out a vendor or a new business partner and you guys have lunch, right? So you know what lunches usually cost, right? Um, if you end up spending $2,000 on lunch, uh, the IRS is probably going to consider that lavish or extravagant, right? So you just want to, you know, use your judgment, be conservative if you, if you can. Um, again, if, if you happen to have an expensive taste, you know, you can go ahead and do that, but just know that you need to be prepared to explain why it's not lavish or extravagant. So anyways, I hope this was helpful to you. Hopefully you learned something and I'm looking forward to sharing more content with you in the near future. Take care and I will see you later. Bye.